Hello, and welcome to another edition of Who's the Savage Now? Who's the Savage Now? Good question. I'm MC, your host, for this latest edition of my YouTube channel, Who's the Savage Now? Covering everything from handcrafted animal rights advocacy to pedestrian, local pedestrian safety and everything in between, vegan cuisine, music, handcrafted music, we got it right here, Uh uh-huh, uh-huh, we got it, to, uh, what else do we do, on-air, we cover on-air malfeasance at our local public radio stations, yes we do, we bring it all live and direct from the poor man's beachfront condo here on the edge of a continent, right on the edge, in an undisclosed, previously undisclosed seaside city, not far from the megapolis known as Los Angeles, California. Exhibit A for Humanity Gone Wrong. Indeed. So sit back, relax, walk the dog, feed the cat, and get ready for some hard-hitting commentary from yours truly, MZ. Thanks for being a part of the show. We appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Greetings, everybody. MZ here with you again for the uh, KPFK LSB election supplemental. I realized I left out some people from the other one. I was trying to make it real lean, uh, a lean machine of political propaganda. And uh, I hope I achieved that. And uh, (laughs) uh, so I wanted to just, and I realized today that I had missed a debate between... uh, Oh, the last debate number five. If all, if, if only, if only we could run a centrist against Donald Trump. If only, uh, if only we could have all the election content in one pla- on one platform. See, I've had to go. I've gone to YouTube, SoundCloud. <laughs> I've been ping ponging back and forth between uh, Facebook and SoundCloud. I found. My fault, my fault, didn't check my email, the link was there last week, my fault, my fault. I was going off just what was on YouTube, there's uh, the debate number five on uh, SoundCloud uh, with uh, Isabella Fiorella Mallorca, uh, Paul Roberson, and uh, Michael Adler. Who's jumped, by the way, who's jumped to my number one spot? Michael Adler has jumped, has jumped, the, jumped, the, jumped to the number one spot on my, on my list. Uh, here's my new revised list. Vote for the uh, current LSB, KPFK LSB elections. Michael Adler, number one. Number two, Michelle Manos. Number three, Jeff Silberman. Number four, Marshall James. Number five, Tyann Chesser. Six, Paul Roberson. Seven, Isabella Fiora. Fiorella, Mallorca, apologies, John Suarez, Michael Novick. I think we were allowed to vote for nine, right? I don't know. Uh, and then there were some people that uh, didn't make the debate, so, but they had the, something on SoundCloud. Robert Payne, Rob Macon, Mar- Mar- Marcy Mills, and Nancy Perlman. So I thought in the spirit of elections and fair elections and everything and... Uh, I thought these people should be given their their 60 seconds to present their case. Um, And I also heard a disturbing thing today on KPFK, one of the replays today that uh, they were playing. One of the the fun drive replays, KPFK, home of the replay, radio powered by the replay. Um, I heard uh, Ian Masters. I heard Ian Masters poo-pooing the elections. Let's have a listen. (laughs) It doesn't. We operate pretty much on a shoestring, and you can tell from the kind of endless fund drives that we do that there's something dysfunctional about our structure, which I hope eventually we finally recognize, which the our audience have recognized long ago that these uh, ridiculous board elections are a waste of time and money and that we have to return to a proper non-profit status where our boards actually do what boards of non-profits do, which is raise money instead of incredibly insane dictates. So we have some serious problems here, but I appeal to you all to support background briefing because we do try to 
deliver on a daily basis reality-based information, important information. Trying to keep up with Trump in itself is a real struggle and a challenge. And it's also uh, deeply ironic that just covering Trump and what's happening to this country, you're complicitous in being manipulated because and into manipulating the order. Okay, that's enough right there. Reality-based reporting, yeah, right. He's a Trump Russiagate propagandist, Ian Masters. And if he has something to say about uh, the elections and the local, the LSB, he should come to the debates or come to a meeting. He shouldn't be putting it out over the air like that. That's divisive, unhelpful, and unappreciated, in my opinion. Ian Masters seems to be an island unto himself at KPFK. And, uh, I, you know, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, that's what prompted me. That's what mot Ian Masters motivated me to make sure that everybody had a chance at least to hear the introductory remarks of every single candidate that's running for the LSB. It's uh, too, it's, there's too many people. It needs to be reduced. There's some people with some good ideas. It's a community-based radio station. It needs community input. Ian Masters wants to be, wants to sit in his ivory tower and, you know, maybe he's got a good point, but don't put it out over the air like that. Don't put it out over the air like that. Um, dividing us and, 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 I mean, that's not the forum. Ian, your show is not the forum to resolve inner Nicene conflict at the station, I don't think. Unless, unless he wants to invite on some listener station board members, uh, Anyel Fields, Kevin Fleming. Yeah, okay, let's have a discussion, Ian. N not just your opinion. Bring on some other people that have something to say about it. D don't just, don't just give your little cranky, little, your little cranky, isolated island unto yourself opinion about it over the air. That's not fair. That's not fair. It's a community radio station, Ian. It's not the Ian Masters Network. Okay, let's get that clear. Just because you're an entrenched legacy program that's been there forever, and uh, I've been a long-time uh, li listener to Ian Masters, and I've finally woken up to Ian Masters. He is not, he does not belong on KPFK. He's MSNBC material. He admires the journalism that they do at, at NBC. <laughs> he, in, he interviewed Sidney Blumenthal, Hillary Clinton's. He interviewed slash promoted Sidney Blumenthal's opinions about uh, current events on his show. Ian Masters does not belong on KPFK. That said, let's get to the, the, the candidates here. I, I thought that they should have a, a chance to present themselves at least their 60-second intro. Here we go. This is debate number five, the candidate debate number five candidates. Each one minute to present themselves, starting with Fiorella. Hi, my name is Fiorella Isabel Mayorka. I am an activist, an organizer, and an independent media journalist. I have worked on um, political campaigns as well as supported various candidates and community work, including homelessness, including housing as a human right. I am very involved in my community as far as um, understanding the needs of the working people and um, the youth involvement in our local city council and our local politics. I want to be on the KPFK board because I believe KPFK needs um, some new creative ideas and I feel like I can bring that to the table based on my experience. Um, I've also traveled a lot as far as uh, the United States and outside of the United States and I believe that traveling expands your mind and makes you a uh, better rounded person because you get to view other people's um, a bit other people's way of life. So that's why I want to be here and support the local station. Thank you, uh, Michael Adler. My name is Michael Adler, and if elected, I will work to help KPFK improve their funding model, as well as bringing more high-quality and diverse programming to the station. Since February 2017, I have been the KPFK local station board secretary, and that's given me an excellent understanding of my, what my role as a board member can be. I 
also have over 25 years experience as a successful small business owner. As such, I've become very good at listening, working with others, providing guidance, and making projects happen. I have been an activist for peace and justice since I was 14. Many of you know me from the Topanga Peace Alliance, where I've been producing our monthly film nights and our annual high school military opt-out drives. I've been a member of KPFK since the early 1980s. So thanks for listening, and I hope you'll vote to put me, Michael Adler, on the KPFK local station board. Thank you. Paul Roberson? Hello. My name is Paul Roberson, and I'm running for the local, local station board of KPFK. I would like to solicit your support and your vote. I am a law school graduate, a listener, and a member of the community who wants to play a positive role and make the world a better place. I have a strong passion for community engagement, community service, and direct advocacy for communities of color and demographics that have been marginalized, discriminated against, and whose voices have been silenced or ignored. I will bring to this board a youthful idealism, stamina, and a new fresh perspective. As a recent graduate, a resident of Los Angeles and an activist, I have been involved in campaigns to address police brutality, LGBTQ rights, an increase in the minimum wage and prison and education reform. I want to serve on this board because I truly believe in the mission of KPFK and the ideals of freedom of speech. I also want to work for the development role and make the world a better place. I have a strong passion for community engagement, community service, and direct advocacy for communities of color and demographics that have been marginalized, discriminated against, and whose voices have been silenced or ignored. I will bring to this board a youthful idealism, stamina, and a new fresh perspective. As a recent graduate, a resident of Los Angeles and an activist, I have been involved in campaigns to address police brutality, LGBTQ rights, an increase in the minimum wage, and prison and education reform. I want to serve on this board because I truly believe in the mission of KPFK and the ideals of freedom of speech. I also want to work for the development and growth of the station so that it can be a resource for another generation and provide insights into other cultures, people, opinions, and perspectives that are often ignored. Thank you. I'm Hi, I'm Steve Kaiser. I've been on the local station board for three years. Uh, it's been a really enlightening experience for me. I showed up with a Pollyannish attitude about how to turn things around, and then I uh, have been dealing with the reality of Pacifica, and, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I've met a lot of uh, very good people and, and a lot of new friends, and I appreciate that. But I'm here. I'd like to run for another, uh, be on the board for another three years because I don't feel my work is done. I think we have to save Pacifica because there's nothing like it in the country as, as these big organizations, these big uh, conglomerates take over our media and tell us what to think. Uh, we have an independent voice of Pacifica, but we have to find new ways to market it and, and uh, come up with new programming that really appeals to people and delivers to them what they need and want to know. So, Dr. Steve Kaiser. Thank you. Uh, Douglas Barnett? I've been listening to KPFK since the Sudanese Liberation Army debacle of the early 70s. Came on the board in 1999 under the old structure. Um, been secretary of this board for a two-year stretch. Worked in and out of the station for uh, many hours every week ever since, except currently. Um, run the Quaker Meeting House with me and my wife in South Central Los Angeles. I've been there 30 years. Uh, the Quakers have an ecology reality that goes back two or three hundred years, and my wife and I were, secret I mean, uh, treasurer of the Green Party of California for six years just recently. I started an electric car factory in the valley in 1994-95. Uh, my father was discussing ecology as back in the 50s and 60s. Um, I find the station very important. It's unique, it's special, and it's not part of the CPB. It's an educational...
educational institution, a nonprofit educational institution, and I want to keep it that way. Our job on the radio station is to deliver education to our listeners, not listen to them, but listen to us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jan Goodman? Hi, uh, I'm Jan Goodman, and I am a lawyer. I'm an activist. I grew up in uh, South Central Los Angeles on 105th and Avalon in a biracial home. My parents were both activists, and I grew up uh, an activist fighting uh, for peace and justice and against racism and m my entire life. And KPFK is one of the most important tools in Los Angeles for those struggles. And thus, when KPFK uh, became endangered, I got drawn into the struggle to save KPFK. So I was on the KPFK station board for six years, uh, and then I had a six-year period of uh, doing other things after I termed out. And then three years ago, I got pulled back into uh, being on the board, and I am presently on the board, and I'm presently on the Pacifica National Board. Are you indicating that my time is up? <laughs> Thank you. Jan Goodman. Thank you. Yes, I actually wasn't... Uh I'll do this when you have 10 seconds. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Michelle Manos? Thank you. Um, my name is Michelle Manos. I am a longtime listener of KPFK um, since I came to Los Angeles about 10 years ago, and I'm a first time candidate. My background, my undergrad is in political science from Cal State Long Beach, and I have a master's degree from Stanford in African Studies. Um, what I bring to the table is that I have about six years in marketing and small business development. A lot of that um, experience was right here in Los Angeles in Southern California, and um, part of what I do is community outreach and um, reaching new people. I did that, um, you know, I've done that through my activism through um, the last five or six years, and uh, really kicked it up a notch with the Bernie 2016 campaign and really became a full-time community organizer, um, reorganizing my life in order to do this work. And um, similar to Jan, when I discovered that KPFK was in trouble, um, I in Los Angeles in Southern California, and um, part of what I do is community outreach and um, reaching new people. I did that, um, you know, I've done that through my activism through um, the last five or six years and uh, really kicked it up a notch with the Bernie 2016 campaign campaign and really became a full-time community organizer, um, reorganizing my life in order to do this work. And um, similar to Jan, when I discovered that KPFK was in trouble, um, I, I realized that I really had to do something about it. And when I started asking around, what is the best way to do something about it, um, the local station board was a big part of the answer. So that's why I'm here to help KPFK. Thank you. Hey, I'm Bella DeSoto, and I thank you very much uh, for considering me uh, for the Pacifica KPFK local station board, uh, known as LSB. Um, I have been very passionate about Pacifica for many years. Um, I am a monthly sustainer of the station as well. My passion has developed over the years uh, because Pacifica is non-commercial, uh, a very noble structure, format, uh, that only Pacifica has delivered for so many years, since 1949. So it has a very unique format, and because of such a unique format, we must protect it, we must grow it, and expanded. Right now, Pacifica enjoys five stations nationwide, um, facing some issues financially, and I will get to that sometime later along the questions, and I'm glad to be here and share this with you. Thank you. Thank you. Marshall James? Yes, hello. Uh, my name is Marshall James, and thank you for considering me as I run for the KPFK local station board. Uh, I own a podcast production company. I'm an environmental labor rights and public health activist living here in Los Angeles. Um, and I'm very drawn to publicly supported radio as uh, uh, and audio in general as a means of spreading stories and information um, to waiting audiences. And I 
have long been uh, attracted to KPFK for their progressive bent and attention to details about the news behind the news. Um, and I'm really interested to get involved with uh, the, the programming selection on KPFK. So I look forward to the debate tonight, and thank you so much again for considering me, Marshall James, for the local station board. Thank you. Fred Blair? Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Fred Blair. Thank you for considering me. Um, I've been on the local station board before, uh, from 2011 through 2016. Um, my background is uh, uh, basically I've been a technologist. I've been an electronics engineer, physicist, uh, uh, software programmer. Um, I've been listening to KPFK since uh, the early 70s. I was really struck by KPFK by the uniqueness of its uh, programming content. I was very much an enthusiast of Hour 25 science fiction. And uh, uh, I've, I've, I've grown up with uh, KPFK and uh, in the communities I've uh, worked with, um, I've known KPFK very well and have supported it over the years. Um, um, my uh, objective in, in getting on the local station was programming content. I was a very much an enthusiast of Hour 25 science fiction. And uh, uh, I've, I've, I've grown up with uh, KPFK and uh, and the communities I've uh, worked with, um, I've known KPFK very well and have supported it over the years. Um, um, my uh, objective in, in getting on the local station board is to uh, help continue KPFK uh, uh, survive and move. And getting on the local station board is to. Uh, help continue KPFK uh, uh, survive and move into the future. Okay. Thank you. Um, with John Suarez. That's me. Uh, professionally speaking, I'm a retired psychiatrist. I was on the faculty at UCLA as a professor of psychiatry and also ran the section on law and psychiatry. More importantly for this purpose, I had the privilege of serving on several boards including the ACLU of Southern California, the Community Advisory Board of KCT, when it was still connected with PBS, and I served as president of that board several years. And I spent almost two decades uh, on the Board of Trustees of Americans United for Separation of Church and State. I learned a lot from those experiences, which render me comfortable and feeling that I may be able to contribute something to a KPFK. Thank you. Grace Aaron? Hi, I'm Grace Aaron, and I'm a longtime board member of KPFK, and I've also served on the Pacifica National Board, which is the parent company of KPFK. And I'm a longtime peace activist, and I'm also running in this election with a group of really great candidates. We have a slate. John Suarez is on our slate, and I uh, hope you'll... Um, take a good look at all of them. I think they're really terrific, and we're looking forward to really improving the programming at KPFK and uh, starting fresh with a new board and improving uh, our impact on society. Thank you. Michael Novick? Uh, yes, I am Michael Novick. I'm a former chair and treasurer of the KPFK Local Station Board and a former member of the Pacific National Board. I'm the editor and publisher of Turning the Tide, a journal of intercommunal solidarity, and I'm also on the uh, production and editorial staff of Changelinks, a uh, community calendar and progressive news for Southern California. Um, I'm interested in returning to the board. I'm running with the Grassroots uh, Community Radio Coalition. Uh, along with Jeff, uh, and uh, I think we uh, believe that um, a lot more has to be done to revive the, uh, the station, to bring uh, new audiences uh, uh, to our airwaves and new voices, and that we can do that by engaging with the community, uh, bringing more of the spirit of, uh, and the ethos
dose of social media, of interactivity to the broadcast operations. Thank you. Jeff Silberman? Thank you. Um, I am also, as Michael mentioned, I'm running with uh, Grassroots Radio uh, Community Coalition. I'm an entertainment attorney and a literary agent. I work in the book world, motion picture, and television world. So I'm accustomed to sourcing ideas, cultivating them, and bringing uh, projects into the world. I'm also accustomed to having to deal with both creative and financial constraints, limitations, confrontations, and reconciling them. And I work with many people from diverse communities with diverse voices, diverse perspectives. And uh, so I, I think that I can contribute to the board in that way in helping reconciling them. And I work with many people from diverse communities with diverse voices, diverse perspectives. And uh, so I, I think that I can contribute to the board in that way in helping KPFK uh, improve, uplift its programming, reach out to communities that we're not reaching, and deal with financial constraints. Creative and financial constraints, limitations, confrontations, and reconciling them. And I work with many people from diverse communities with diverse voices, diverse perspectives. And uh, so I, I think that I can contribute to the board in that way in helping KPFK uh, improve, uplift its programming, reach out programming, reach out to communities that we're not reaching, and deal with financial constraints that we are currently facing. Oh, welcome to KPFK's local station board debate number two. I am joined by Tyann Chesser, Alan Beek, and Ken Aaron, and they each have one minute to present themselves, starting with Tyann. Um, I work in professional development. I give uh, trainings to staff that work in after-school programs and out-of-school time programs. Um, prior to that, I worked in affordable housing um, where I created an after-school homework assistance program and um, launched the program and trained staff and worked there for five years. So that was the beginning of me being involved in social justice issues and starting to learn about disparities and access and um, just kind of waking up my my senses to getting engaged with the community. Um, since then, I I've, I've been organizing. Um, I've been I've served on the Echo Park Neighborhood Council, and I organized with groups like um, the Sunrise Movement and um, Converging Storms Action Network. We work on environment environmental issues, uh, climate change issues, the Green New Deal. Uh, I organize with the Green Party. So uh, that's kind of what I do with most of my time. Oh, I also work on homelessness issues. So that's kind of a little background on me. Thank you. Uh, Ken Aaron? Hi. Uh, you want like a little biography? One minute, yes, please. One minute. Well, <laughs> there I am, trying to be interesting. So I understand that you clicked to watch this, so try to give you some entertainment. Um, you know, I'm just a normal guy. I had a background. I'm a Californian, so I've done most everything Californians have done. I've worked in IT. I've done some show business. I've sold cars. I have sales, a uh, real estate license, and I belong to at least one cult. And I've worked in five or six different nonprofit uh, progressive groups. So just a Californian. And I've been on the station for, uh, on the board for quite a while, a uh, cumulative amount of at least six years on the local board and about two, two and a half years on the national board. And I tried to bring to the board the attitude of professionalism and standard business practices, not pushing any particular political agenda. That's what I'm there. I'm just there to keep the show on the road, keep the car moving. Thank you. Uh, Alan Beek, do you have one minute? Alan Beek, a retired computer designer. I think Pacifica is a community asset, like a library or schools or parks. I want to defend it. I'm furious at the attempts that have been made to subvert the management of Pacifica and convert some of those very valuable radio licenses to private property of the people who are doing the subverting. The last effort has been overcome, fortunately, and during the last two years. 
I ran for the local station board two years ago, wasn't elected, but I worked on the finance committee during those two years, have taken the notes and recorded its activities. We're nearly out of the despire. The, the I want to defend it. I'm furious at the attempts that have been made to subvert the management of Pacifica and convert some of those very valuable radio licenses to private property of the people who are doing the subverting. The last effort has been overcome, fortunately, and during the last two years. I ran for the local station board two years ago, wasn't elected, but I worked on the finance committee during those two years, have taken the notes and recorded its activities. We're nearly out of the despair, the destroyed work of those subverters, and I hope to be able to get Pacifica through the bankruptcy danger and back in the action. Thank you. So just... This is KPFK 90.7 Los Angeles, 98.7 Santa Barbara, and online at kpfk.org. I am Robert Payne, candidate for the local station board. I am a single issue candidate, the survival of KPFK. KPFK offers the single richest source of 24 hour, seven day a week intelligent and challenging voices of progressive movements. And KPFK rejects commercial sponsorship with commercials come demands. I will work with anyone to increase the membership of KPFK and to increase the donations of money to KPFK. My one issue, the survival of KPFK. I am Robert Payne, candidate for the local station board. For more information on the KPFK local station board elections, go to elections.pacifica.org. to KPFK 90.7 FM Los Angeles, 98.7 Santa Barbara, and online at kpfk.org. Hi, I'm Rob Macon. I'm running for a re-election to the KPFK local station board. We have finally made necessary changes to get KPFK out of debt, increase the list to get KPFK out of debt, increase the list to have a better relationship with the community. KPFK is on its way back. That's why we need you to vote for the current members to finish the work we've started. It's too risky to make changes. Please, re-elect Rob Macon to the KPFK local station board to finish the work we started. Thank you. I'm Rob Macon. For more information, go to elections.pacifica.org. Listening to KPFK 90.7 FM in Los Angeles, 98.7 in Santa Barbara, and online at kpfk.org. Hi, my name is Marcy Mills, and I'm running for a board seat at KPFK. I've had a successful broadcast radio career that spanned 25 years in major markets across the country, and I was an original pioneer more than a decade ago in the digital radio frontier. I'm passionate about public radio and believe that there has been no time in history that a voice for the public like KPFK has been more critical. I'm a graduate of Al Gore's Climate Change Reality Leadership Program and a tireless volunteer with Homeless Advocacy. And I'm passionate about public radio and believe that there has been no time in history that a voice for the public like KPFK has been more critical. I'm a graduate of Al Gore's Climate Change Reality Leadership Program and a tireless volunteer with Homeless Advocacy and Outreach to the Poor and Marginalized Communities of L.A., specifically mothers and children. I hope you'll cast a vote for me, Marcy Mills, to help grow KPFK and kpfk.org as a voice for all of L.A.'s communities. For more information, visit elections.pacifica.org. Los Angeles, 98.7 Santa Barbara, and online at kpfk.org. Hello, my name is Nancy Perlman. I'm an environmentalist, anthropologist, and feminist. I am trustee emeritus of the Los Angeles Community College District. Radio is very important for public information. That is why I have had shows on KPFK and many other stations. Please vote for me for local station board, Nancy Perlman. For my colleagues on candidateslate.org so that we can maintain the excellence of KPF.
PFK. Go to elections.pacifica.org. Thank you. So there you have it, folks. The complete uh, introductory remarks from every single freaking candidate I could find on every single freaking platform available to the modern uh, internet user. Facebook, SoundCloud. Facebook and SoundCloud. Okay. So, F. Ian Masters. F. Ian Masters. F. Him. He's... he's <laughs> Do you remember what he said? Listen to what he said about our elections. Our, our, these discussions... The, these discussions are important discussions despite the elections. These are important discussions for us to be having as human beings about a free press... Uh, about democracy, about news, truth and accuracy and news. I mean, these are important discussions. Ian doesn't want any of it. He just wants to, uh, he wants to just uh, badmouth the elections on air on his show on KPFK, a community radio station. He's going he's to stick his big middle finger at the elections. And just listen to what he has to say. <laughs> it doesn't quite. We operate pretty much on a shoestring, and you can tell from the kind of endless fund drives that we do that there's something dysfunctional about our structure, which I hope eventually we finally recognize, which the, our audience have recognized long ago, that these ridiculous board elections are a waste of time and money, and that we have to return to a proper non-profit status where our boards actually do what boards of non-profits do, which is raise money instead of incredibly insane dictates. So F. U. E. and Masters, an F. Background Briefing, F. Alan Minsky for even putting you on the air, if that's your, if that's your freaking attitude. Uh, if you don't think that the community should, should be involved in a community radio station. Heave ho, Ian Masters has got to go. One more time, folks, before I go, before I get out of here. This is my Sunday. I'm, this is a Sunday afternoon on the edge of a continent. For Christ's sakes, Ian Masters pissed me off. My revised uh, list is Michael Adler, number one, Michelle Manos, number two, Jeff Silberman, number three, uh, uh, Marshall James, number four, Tyann Chesser, number five, Paul Roberson, number six. Uh, oh, my God, I can't. I, oh, who is that? Oh, Isabella. Isabella Mallorca, number seven. John Swan Suarez, 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 number eight. And Michael, number nine. F -E and Masters. F you. F you. It's a democracy, man. It's a community. It's a community radio station. Get him out of here. Peace out. Peace <laughs> out.